Greetings, my friends, and welcome to this weekend's Global Home Church Sermon. This is a real church, unlike 99% of most churches in the world, either brick-and-mortar churches, online churches, churches on television, churches on social media. I bring you the truth from the Word of God. I don't feed you milk toast like most of these fake lame old pastors do. I teach you the truth from the Word of God that will lead you to heaven, not the weak of uh, garbage that most pastors will, will teach you. And you're all welcome here. I love everyone like Jesus Christ does. Uh, no matter what your your background is, your religion, lack of religion, your race, sexual orientation, uh, your ethnic background, your social standing, your financial standing, doesn't matter who you are. I love you all equally, just like Jesus Christ does. I welcome you all here. This is a safe haven. I do not accept any money here. I don't ask for any money. I don't take a penny. Never have, never will. Uh, the gospel is free. Christ paid the price on the cross and no one should be charging for the gospel. And welcome here. And I love you all so much. And thank you for, for, for letting me share God's word with you. And let's have a word of prayer before we get started with today's sermon. Jesus, I love you so much. And I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you for giving me uh, the strength and for helping my health to hold on long enough to bring another sermon out to the lost and, and, and to those who need encouragement, who are saved and everyone in between. I just thank you so much, Jesus, for just give me this platform where uh, I can reach thousands around the globe uh, every weekend, all for you and all for your glory. I pray that everyone who does not know you as Lord and Savior would come to you as Lord and Savior by the end of this sermon or the end of, of um, shortly after. And those who do know you as Lord and Savior, who need a blessing or a touch or encouragement, they'd be encouraged, Jesus. I ask you all in your precious name. Amen. <clears throat> Again. Those who know me know that I preach the hardcore truth from the Word of God, the way I was preached to uh, as a youngster that led me to the Lord and brought me back to Him as a prodigal son, like the Bible says it will. And that's the kind of preaching people need to hear. It's the kind that I bring to you. And very rarely do I get to bring you a sermon where I can just give you an exciting, feel-good sermon. But praise the Lord, this is an exception, man. I can break it out to you today and give you an exciting a sermon that will make you feel good, but it's not milk toast. It's not j -j -j jive talking, telling you lies like most pastors give you. It's an actual blessing, uh, and, and I feel so pumped and so stoked to bring this to you. So this is the, the title of the sermon today. Science and a Jewish rabbi find the, the earth sings, dances, and praises God's name 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I read this, man. It just made me so excited and so happy. I've been saving it all week to share with you. So let's go ahead and break it down, shall we? Let's go ahead and, and uh, start with Scripture, as always. Luke chapter 19, verse 40, the King James Version Bible is my source. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. This is Jesus talking. Psalm 114, 4. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. This is cool stuff. In verse 7, Tremble thou, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. And yes, the earth trembles. The mountains do skip like rams and, and the little hills like lambs. And they and they do, the rocks cry out. Because sadly, in, in today's world, very few are crying out to Jesus Christ. Most are so wicked and evil, they don't care about Jesus. They don't care about God. They don't care about the Holy Spirit or the Holy Bible or true Christianity. They're just involved in fake religions and, and fake gods and and and, and fake uh, prophets and fake whatever there is out there, and they're clueless as to what the Word of God truly is. They they, they miss out on that relationship with Jesus Christ, that that personal relationship where His Holy Spirit comes into your heart as soon as you're saved, and as you grow in Christ, He grows stronger and stronger, gets a stronger hold of your heart, and your life changes. You start displaying good fruit, the fruit of the Spirit, and and you start emulating Christ in your walk, but sadly, the Bible does say that the, all who come to me and ask shall be saved, Jesus says, but sadly, many start to fall away. They start to fall away like in the parable of the sower. Uh, you know, the, the weeds grow in and the tares grow in, and, they, and they, 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 had, they had good foundation at first, but they fall away like the prodigal son. They fall away like hundreds of scripture in the Bible say they fall away. They become backslidden, and they don't know Jesus Christ, and that's what sadly most of the Christian churches today, it's, it, it's a backslidden mess. And, and, I, and I pray for you every day if you're in that state. I pray you f you come back to Jesus Christ and ask him back into, into your heart. Because I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit will not live in a filthy heart. And you can say all the jive talking you want to, j -j -j jive talking, telling me lies. I don't want to hear it because I've got hundreds of scriptures that say otherwise. You have to repent <coughs> of your sins after you're saved to go to heaven. 
But getting back to today's sermon, let's get back to it, man, and let me just tell you what's going on. Sixty years ago, scientists discovered that the Earth is pulsing, but they still don't know what causes the micro-seismic events. When pre presented with the mystery, science and rabbis now all recognize and agree that the 26-second phenomenon is the Earth dancing out praise for its creator. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Despite scientists being perplexed by the phenomenon, they now understand, and Bible scholars hold the answer to at least one of the questions. The 26-second duration of the microseismic pulse is explained by the gematria of God's name, spelled out by the Hebrew letters Y-O-D-H-E-H-V-A-V-H-E-H, the equal 26, the exact same number as the 26 seconds phenomenon that goes on and on and on and on. It never ends. It's a repeating cycle. It's the earth, the very rocks, the, the, the mountains crying out to Jesus Christ and, and just and, and proclaiming he's the Lord and Savior of the universe, proclaiming his Father God as the creator of the heavens and universe. Like the Bible says it would happen, it's happening everywhere right now. That's If you can't get happy and excited about that, man, whew, you, you can't get excited about anything. It, it, it's, it, it's so awesome how God's word is always fulfilled, how God's word always come to pass, how God's word is always exactly what it says it'll be. Science tries to refute it. Man tries to refute it. They can't do it. God's word is always proven correct. They tried to refute the great flood. They had to admit that it's true. They tried to refute creation. They can't do it. They tried to refute everything, you, the Garden of Eden. They can't do it. They can't refute Sodom and Gomorrah. It's been found and located. They can't refute anything, my friends, because it's all right there in God's word. It's all come to pass in history. It's coming to pass right now, being fulfilled everywhere. Don't lose hope. I know there's a lot, a lot of people lose hope right now because of what's going on in our country. In this country of uh, no more like a formerly America, it, it, it's 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 a it's a, a, a whitewashed, filthy sewer hole, and the rest of the world's not any better. And they worry because their leaders are wicked and corrupt, and and and, and there's this corruption everywhere, and there's evil, and there's filth, and there's perversion, and, and there's just there's just anger and hatred and sorrow and suffering and homelessness and joblessness and hunger and thirst. I feel so sorry for so many people who who don't have food on the table or. or or water to drink, clothes to wear, a roof over their head. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. The famine's picking up everywhere, and disease is picking up everywhere. And people are frightened. They're genuinely afraid, and they want to know answers. My friends, Jesus Christ is the only answer. He's here for everyone. He loves each and every one equally. Again, he's no respected person. He doesn't care who you are, what your background is. You're all equally important in his eyes. And I'm telling you, now's the time. Now's the time to cry out to Jesus Christ if you've never known him as Lord and Savior. I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video, but below this sermon. Pray that prayer. Do those six steps if you haven't done it before. If you're backslidden, pray them again. Draw nearer to Christ. There's nothing wrong with drawing nearer to Him. There's nothing wrong with getting close to Him and admitting that you've sinned, that you've done wrong. Don't try to whitewash sin and blow it off. Come to Jesus. Return to Him. Because soon, it's going to be too late. The, the, this, all that's happening in the world right now, it's like birth pangs in a woman, the Bible says. The closer to the, to the delivery of the child, the closer and closer the birth pangs come together. Those of you women who have had babies know, and I'm telling you, it's like the, it's, it's what the end times are in the Bible as well. The birth pangs, all the signs in Matthew 24, all the signs in the whole Bible are accelerating now to just a, such a rapid exponential pace. And if you don't find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior soon, it'll be too late in this run because the rapture will happen that fast. Blink your eyes, gone. The bride of Christ is gone. Those who are left behind to make it to heaven, then you'll have to suffer beyond your wildest nightmare. The most hellacious things that you could ever imagine happening around the entire world. You'd be billions will be dying and just record numbers, just suffering and just and just homelessness and joblessness, suffering and and and, and um, depression, and anxiety, a billion times worse than it is right now, and and just awful, awful times. And, if, and to get to heaven, then you'll have to refuse the mark of the beast, run for your life, be hunted down like a wild animal, captured, tortured, have your head chopped off. You'll go to heaven right away. Praise the Lord. If you refuse that mark, but if you take it, you spend forever in hell in the lake of fire. You're cursed forever. And, and Jesus wants you to come to him right now. He's waiting for you. Now's the time to answer. Now's the time to do it again. Pray that prayer. Do those six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all so much. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh before fly soon. May God bless you. Share this sermon. Share all my videos. I thank, um, thank all those who faithfully do because I'm sensitive relentlessly because of my faith all across social media. Help me get the word out. Time is so short. I love you all so much. Let's get excited. Let's praise the Lord. Let's stay ready. Get others ready. I love you. Bye.